Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. What a week it's been. So we have now gone into tier four of lockdown, meaning charity shops are closed, boot sales are off. My only source of buying bits and pieces at the moment will be eBay or other toy collectors selling online and they're posted to my house. Uh, so that's where I am currently. This week, however, guys, before lockdown, so this, well, yeah, this week, I believe I've had a really, really good week in terms of pickups from charity shops, in terms of mail bits and pieces that have come to me. So I'm going to get straight into it with this pickup that I picked up straight away from a charity shop. I couldn't believe my eyes, so I did take some snippets on my mobile phone. I don't necessarily have the GoPro with me every time I go to the charity shops. Uh, but yeah, I, I popped out during the week. Wasn't expecting to find much and come across some retro greatness in terms of toys. Uh, so watch this short clip, and then when we come back, I'll go through what I picked up. So guys, you would have seen what I picked up. I thought that was absolutely amazing for the price. I think in all, for all the Power Ranger stuff, it comes to about £16, uh, which is fine. Happy to pay that. Uh, and we'll go through a little bit of detail. So I haven't, just grab it all here. I haven't opened any of it since I've got it. I'm literally doing the video today. Uh, right, so let's start. So the funny piece was straight away, guys. So. They had one bag, which I have taken out. So they had a bag like this, which which said Transformers on it. And it had... Oh, I'm breaking apart this sword. Sword? Sword? Uh, yeah, so it had all these parts for this guy loose. And they had it marked up as a, a Transformer. Uh, and it was missing a leg. So I just thought, right, I'm going to pick it up. See if I can pick up the leg anyway. I think they wanted £3 for it. So I thought, I'll buy it. On the shelf, believe it or not, they had the foot, so the foot that goes with this, for a pound. And I thought, well, I can't leave the foot behind because it goes with this guy to make him semi-complete. I think he's missing the weapons, and I'm not too sure if he's missing a hat or a helmet because, I don't know, the head just looks a bit too small in terms of what I'd expect with this anyway. But yeah, so four pound all in all for this guy. Because I've had to pay a pound for the foot. Uh, but yeah, happy with that. I don't have this. I don't even know which one it is from the uh, Power Ranger line. But I've got that. Then you would have seen that I found some more swords. Uh, so you had this one. Oh, there you go. So this full one was £3. Uh, so yeah, again, I believe it's missing. So it's definitely missing a fist. And it's missing the black armour around this arm. 100%. Not too sure about the head. I believe that is the correct head. Uh, but again, I think I should be able to pick that up pretty cheaply. But yeah, £3 for this one. So I picked that up as well. So again, you've got two so far. Then I saw, well, I wasn't too sure if this was a lot of money to pay for it. But I thought, you know what? I couldn't believe that literally I picked up a bag of figures. Then I looked on the shelf and I started seeing each of the robots there. Uh, so I thought, right, I'm going to pick them up. Unfortunately, didn't have the Dragon Zord and didn't have the... Uh, oh, what is it? The uh, oh, I've forgotten the name now. The main one, the mega sword. Is it the mega sword? The, the yeah, I think it's the mega sword. So the main one didn't have them two there, and they're the ones I, I would have liked to pick up. Uh, but they did have this one, which is the White Ranger Falcon one, uh, two pounds. So I thought, right, I'm gonna pick that up. Uh, it doesn't I was gonna say it doesn't look much for two pounds, but I'm still gonna pick it up just because of. It is Power Ranger related and it is toys. And like you guys would see in my videos, I always moan that I find loads of video games, but I don't end up finding toys. So to come across a small collection like this, I was really happy with. 
Oh, and here you go, guys. I have kept the bag. So, so the bag. So as I said with that first robot, you would have seen there. They had it priced up as three pound without the leg. So without the leg, and they had it as transformers because it was all loose. So they had it down as transformers. I thought I was going to pick that up. So this is originally what I saw was this bag and the figure bag. Uh, so I picked those up, and then as I turned around to like look back at the till i saw the robots just literally sitting there on the shelf and then the last robot that was there uh and how's that head come up because i did have this up the other day so i believe it's all there again might be missing a robot but this is the white ranger sword so again they wanted three pound for that so i paid that as well uh yeah happy with that quite chuffed but yeah so we've got that as well i've got this one boxed already sealed uh but yeah always good if you see this kind of stuff you know, it's definitely worth the three pounds. You know, now we're talking about, we've got a little collection of the Power Ranger swords, uh, which is always good to have a collection and they will definitely look good on a shelf when I get around to displaying them. But yeah, happy with those. I'm gonna try and keep an eye out for the other ones now as well, just to get a little collection of them together. And then I guess the main bit that you guys would have seen on the, and just is the receipt. So did it come to £16.50? I wonder if I brought anything else. No, nope, it's not. I know why. Because I put the toy in there. There was a loose White Ranger figure that comes with this sword. Sword. Robot. Jesus, I'm going to get this wrong all day today. But yeah, Tommy that comes with this one, they had the figure loose up for £1.50. So in all, everything come to £16.50. So for the robots... And for this bag of figures as well. So let's go through the bag figures. This is the first time I'm opening them up. Uh, I do know what the White Ranger looks like because this one was on the shelf on its own for £1.50. So you guys can see there. Uh, didn't come with any of his weapon. I was hoping to find the little sword that come with him. Uh, and hopefully the coin. I'm wondering if when this just got brought in a collection that the kind of odds and sods in terms of your swords, weapons... They just threw in the bin because they didn't know what they went with. So, yeah, a bit gutted about that. Uh, yeah, because that's the other bit as well. So, I can see this already. So, yeah, got Tommy there, the White Ranger. Let's put him over here. So, you have, and in the bag, so that all these figures now, £3 paid for these. Uh, so, you got Tommy from the movie, so the more metallic Power Ranger one. And again, it's strange because you've got the back piece, but you haven't got the front piece. Uh, so gutted about that because it would have been good but again I, i've got this one boxed already up in the background at the back uh, but again still good to have loose for the prices and then it's the yellow ranger i'm missing i was wondering which one was missing because i thought i'm going to put these back in there after but yeah so you've got these are the are they the flip heads so yeah these are kind of your flip head ones which is still decent Let's see how you but look that one's got the little gun things being snapped off there. Uh but yeah, I'm happy with these. I, I don't have them currently loose. Uh so let's put that there. It's Jason. Again, I think I've been able to pick up a Jason before in the past. Here you've got Jason there. Then this one, I guess those two not in the best condition, but still for Power Rangers, three pounds for a lot of them, the Pink Ranger as well, Kimberly. You know, you don't really see these ones. So, yeah, definitely happy with those. And got myself a little Power Ranger bundle. Just got to make sort all the arms out, but I'll do that at a later date. I'm not precious about that. Billy. So, Billy's there as well. Come on. Not necessarily flipping the head straight away. Happy with that. And then Tommy, Green Ranger. Just wanted to check their heads because I haven't really checked anything. That's not... Oh, there you go. I've got my finger on it. So then you got Tommy as well. So yeah, happy with those. So 16.50 all in for the Power Ranger lot that we've got there. Uh, so let's leave that there for the moment. I will put that bag over there. Then the same charity shop. So I thought to myself, guys, because I picked these up, I'm going to go in there for the next couple of days. I did ask if they had any more. They said no. Uh, but I thought I'm just going to go in there in the off chance that they put the green... Because I saw the bigger figures, I thought, why would they just have the Ranger from the movie, Tommy, and then the White Ranger? Surely they've got to have the others there. 
I did ask, they said there was nothing else. So I just kept going back on the off chance that they'd put them on the shelf or they are there. They didn't have anything, but I did go back the next day and I had this guy here, which obviously I know what this is, £3.50. Uh, my my neighbour Toro, is it? From uh, the mangas, the anime. Uh, so £3.50, so I picked that up as well because I know that that's worth a lot more. It's got the official tags on it as well there. So I picked that up. Uh, so here, just stay in the outbuilding, to be fair. A little guardian of the outbuilding. And then I picked up a book. So I do like my rap, hip-hop and comics. And I saw this book for a quid, uh, which is the rap yearbook. And to be fair, it's, it's pretty cool inside. So I thought I'm definitely going to pick that up for a quid. So I picked that up as well. So, next charity shop. See, so this isn't it, guys. This isn't it. I was going to do this as one video, but I'm just going to keep going and do the whole lot as one. So I ended up going to another St. Christopher's in Petswood, the one where I usually get a lot of my gaming stuff from, where it's just there, like the Wii games I've got, the PSP game bundle. So I was in there. They didn't have much there at all. Uh, I know I spoke to one of my viewers that watches the videos about they had a DS there. It wasn't for me and I passed on it, but I think they went back and brought it. So that's all good. But when I was in there, I looked at the games and had a couple of PS3 games. So I had Resident Evil 5 and Pin uh, Prince of Persia. Uh, on PS3, £1 each. And I thought, oh, I'm going to pick them up. So I went to the till. And then again, they always say, oh, you're the game guy. Uh, we've got a PlayStation 3 out the back with a load of games. Do you want to look at it? Because we're about to put it out on the shop. And, you know, if you want it, let us know. So I thought, all right, I'll have a look at it. I thought this is going to cost me a bit of money. So I wasn't too up for it. They brought it out and it was a PS2. Uh, so I looked at the PS2 and it had no power cable. Had a joypad and a third party joypad. And the scart wire to go into the back of the telly. Uh, that didn't kind of get my fancy because I try and stay away from the PS2s. I've got so many already and you guys would have seen from past videos. I've been very lucky to pick up some an empty box and then the console that goes in an empty box with the silver, the silver PlayStation 2, the PlayStation 2 Slims, the normal PlayStation 2 is thick and this was a thick PlayStation 2, uh, one of the first kind of types. So I started going through it and it was the games that were more desirable to me than the console. Uh, so straight away, straight off the bat, I saw uh, uh, Silent Hill 2. I don't have sil any of the Silent Hills at the moment, and they're something I want to pick up. So I saw Silent Hill 2, and I thought, I'm definitely going to uh, pick this up so you can see it here, guys. But before, I needed to get into the price and understand the price. So for everything in this bundle, I paid 21, so 21 pounds. So they charged me, so I had two PS, two PS3 games. Uh, so they've charged me, they should have charged me a pound each. And they said, oh, look, we charge you a pound for both of them. So the PlayStation 2 with games was 20 and then ended up paying one pound for two PlayStation 3 games. But you can see it there. So pick that up. Uh, and I'll let you guys see in terms of what's in there. So there you go. This is around, the, this is the third party gen. And I even think that might be, I don't know. I don't think that is a play. I think that's a uh, PC because I don't think you can use those in the PlayStation 2. Uh, not too sure you can use them PS3, not 100% sure, but yeah, that pad was in there. Then you've got your traditional PlayStation 2 pad. And then let me put this on the floor, guys. So you had, so I'll show you the console. So you had the console, and it is a bit dirty. Uh, I haven't even tried it yet because I've just left the bag up here because obviously as it's getting colder now, and I tend, there's a lot going on with Christmas. Uh, work etc works really busy so I've just been leaving piles over there until I've had time to do a video like I have now uh, for all this week so I'm trying to do one a week at the moment but yeah you got the PS2 I need to check it I did check everything because I was a little bit nervous about the expansion bay looked like it had been opened uh, but yeah I checked it and there was nothing wrong with it so yeah so that was in it but very dirty it had no power cable but it had the one that goes into the back of the telly so I was happy with that, really happy. Then I started going through the games and I was like, there's some desirable games here. Uh, asked them how much they wanted. Orig I don't like paying over 15 to 20 pounds for a PlayStation 2 with games. I know the games might be desirable, but they're going into my collection, most of them. Uh, so I'm not looking to resell, so I'm not looking to pay a lot of money. So I think they said to me 25. I said, look, I was going to offer you 15. I, I was going to offer 15. They said, look, if you do 20, you can take the lot. Uh, so I went, yep, and then they give me the PlayStation 3 games, which I'll show you those first, actually. So the PlayStation 3 games, like I said, so you had, they charged me a pound for both of these because uh, I brought the PlayStation 2, but you got the Gold Edition, 
There you go, Resident Evil 5, which I believe I've already got as well. Uh, and then the Forgotten Sands, Prince of Persia. I don't think I have this for my collection at the moment. And the games looked bloody fresh, like they hadn't been played. So pick those up. Then you get into the PlayStation 2 games. So I need to do a bit more research. I know two of them are very desirable in terms of you Silent Hill, and there's another one I'll show you in a minute. But there's this tin collection of Scarface, The World Is Not Enough. Not 100% sure what this retails for. Love the Scarface movie. It has got a poster slash island inside. And two discs, which I didn't realise. Not too sure what that's about. But no doubt we will look at that. Uh, so you've got the collections edition there. And some of these games I haven't seen. So they just, like this game, they'll just be going straight into my collection. So you've got Cold Fear. Resident Evil. This was another one. Didn't even know it was on the PlayStation 2. Uh, X-Files. Seems to trade for a little bit as well, but I'm keeping it. I haven't got it. I believe I've got Mafia. Uh, Reservoir of Dogs. Then we get into a couple of the more desirable games. So I didn't know nothing about this game. And since I have looked at this one, this one is worth a little bit of money. But again, staying in my collection. So you got Project Zero, which was in the bundle. Hitman, Blood Money. Put that there. Silent Hill 2. So I don't have this. It goes for silly money online. Uh, not silly money, but more money than what I'd want to pay for a game uh, if I'm looking for it. But yeah, everything's here. Postcards, etc. So I'm really happy with that Silent Hill 2. The Sopranos. Another Resident Evil, Dead Aim. Just don't know much about that either. And then another shoot em up there. Uh, so yeah, in all, very happy with that so you yeah play playstation 2 21 pounds with two playstation 3 games you know i think that price is okay i need to test the playstation out but you know i should if i was to resell i'm definitely going to get my money back on a number of these games especially the x files i think trades for a 10 or sells for a 20 or 10 pound uh the project zero i did not realize how desirable that game is uh slash i need that for my collection so that's going in my collection and then the same with silent hill 2 so i think those games alone would no doubt pay for the whole bundle so i was happy with that and then in terms of another charity shop where i'm just going around looking at dvds looking at games etc i went into one charity shop and i paid for this whole bundle five pounds so a lot of the charity shops before they were just about to go back into lockdown they had so much stuff out there cds dvds everything kind of media uh, media kind of related was free for one pound or they will do you an offer if you pick up loads so i picked up i'm going to pick up the bundle i picked up so all this here five pound I may shift some of this to be fair because this will just be some of this will be either cex or shifting to get something i want uh so yeah the majority of this i will not be keeping it would be to get me something better or more retro related in terms of cex or getting rid of so you've got harry potter and the philosopher's stone uh, this is seven cds all there audio book this was an interesting one so this was behind the till on the on the little on the chair where the colleague was working and i said is that for sale and they said oh i thought it was yours and i said no 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 and they went i've got to ask out the back uh, and then they just threw it in as like part of the bundle for five pound, but it's it's a little bit dirty, but it's Wii Sports Resort. So I've had a few of these, and I know they trade quite well, but everything's nice there. You know, I didn't do the old goal of checking the disc to be fair, but yeah, no, nothing's wrong with that disc. Completely perfect. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to pick something up from CEX trading these in. A lot of people will say sell on eBay, get the money into PayPal, and buy something from eBay. I may still try that. Uh, yeah, Band of Brothers as well, all there. Thought I'd get that obviously there's been a lot of noise around the crown so the crown was there as well and again guys the whole bundle's five pounds so you know i'm definitely already got over five pound with that little bundle that i've got there pick this up because it looked like it traded more in cex which was uh lewis hammer in 2014 uh so world champion review so i picked that up i had no idea what this was i just picked it up i think it's american so it's from the hit abc tv series collector's obsession it's sealed. I couldn't find anything out about it. I've not looked on eBay or anything like that. So I may need to do something on this. But because it was sealed, I thought I'm going to throw that in the bundle. 
I've traded some of these in before and know they've got a decent trade in. So the Good Life BBC document, uh, BBC series. Uh, so there's three of them there, and I think there's a there's got I think there's about ten pounds worth just with these three. Uh, so I pick those up, put those in there, and the same with our friends in the north. So another is it ITV BBC series. So that's being traded in. Uh, same as this one, David Essex traded in, and I've got so many avatars at the moment, different collections. I think I've got the 3D one. I don't know which one's more desirable, so I'm going to look. Uh, but yeah, so you've got another avatar, which I'm mostly trading as well. So I will trade all this in or sell to get something retro related for my collection. Uh, so really happy with that. And there's some decent retro games in C my local CX at the moment anyway, for the Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. So I mostly end up just trading that in to get a game. Uh, so happy with that. They're from last week that were on my video, so you would have seen the little big planet because uh, I've had to put them all in the same bag. And then you got obviously your Ray and Leonardo, which one was one pound, one was one pound fifty. So yeah, the toy. I'm actually picking up some more toys, which I'm really happy with. And I kept saying, now I'm going to say it'd be good to find some Bronze Age and Silver Age comics out there. Don't think it's going to happen, but I didn't think I'd find toys. Uh, so yeah, so got that or the PS2. So, and I guess lastly, we're going to go on to stuff that's arrived in the mail. So I've been going on about gigawatts for so long in the Transformer line. He's finally arrived. Uh, I actually love this. I thought, it, I thought it was going to look a bit tacky. I'm not going to lie. From the kind of reviews I've seen, the box to me looks really tiny, but it's not. It's not too bad. It shows off the car, shows off the DeLorean. I'm happy with it. I guess for scale, let me just grab the Echo 1. For scale, it is a bit smaller, as you guys can see there, but you know, it doesn't look, I don't think it looks tacky. If anything, I think the cardboard is a little bit more flimsy, as you can see there a little bit. It's a little bit more flimsy compared to the one we had last year. But nonetheless, it is a fantastic addition to the shelf, and it will live there with his brother until next year's one comes out. I guess just moving on from that. So I always bang on about uh, London Film and Comic Cons and about the autographs they sell. So I have picked up some more. If you're following that page, you would know that they have been able to get huge collections from their brothers and sisters in America in terms of those other Comic Cons as they're part of the larger group. And they've been able to send stuff over that have been Beckett authenticated or have uh, CEOs with them. And they've been selling those like big autographs like Harry Fisher, £700. Uh, Back to the Future, double signed with uh, Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. A lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger, a lot of other Star Wars uh, main characters. Because, you know, this year, a lot, I think we've lost quite a few of our main start, you know, rest in peace. But it's like, I think we've lost Dark, we lost Dark Vader now, not lost Boba Fett. You know, Kerry Fisher the year before, it just kind of, and uh, Ken, is it Ken Baker? No, it ain't Ken Baker, is it? I think it is anyway. The, the guy who played R2-D2. You kind of just... We just lose it. Oh, and the guy who played Chewbacca as well. We're, we're just losing these cult classic characters. The people that have played them and betrayed them to us. Uh, which is a great shame. But yeah, everyone's just trying to have a bit of that kind of... Uh, just after a bit of their childhood or a bit of something that meant so much to them. And if you've watched The Mandalorian now. I'm not going to throw any spoilers out, guys. So don't worry about that. Because uh, I hate it myself when that happens. But what a fantastic... I absolutely love season one. And season two for me, absolutely loved. And I loved the way season two come to an end. Uh, oh, geez. I, I'm not going to go into it if you haven't watched it. But definitely you need to watch it. Put the time aside. Especially if you're a massive Star Wars fan. Definitely invest the time to watch The Mandalorian. Uh, and no doubt you'll start collecting the merchandise that comes out of it. I think Disney have done very well uh, hooking everything together with the merchandise. You know, clothing, toys, cups, figures, the plush uh, child uh, dolls, you know, everything. Disney have done very well. And in terms of the actual series doing very well, it's all linked really well together. But what I back to the autographs, what have I brought this time? So I have brought E.T. E.T. So I've got E.T. autograph now and I love this image. I think it's a perfect image for this movie. So that is, along with loads of the other autographs I've been picking up, guys, I think this is mostly my 8th or 10th now that I've picked up from the site. Uh, so absolutely loving it from Showmasters. And then the main one that I picked up, and I did spend the money, and I'm scared to talk about it, 
uh, because I just thought, you know what, 2020, he's, he's been a bit of a rough. He's been a bad year for everyone. It doesn't even matter if you've picked up good stuff. You know, it's been a terrible year. No one's been able to do what they want to do. You've been very restricted and we've all had to be careful and play our part, ensuring that it doesn't get worse as what it currently is. Even so, some people would say this is the worst it is. Uh, but I did shrink myself too. Let's take the little certificate out. Let's take the little certificate out. It might have given it away. Uh, but I did treat myself to Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. So, yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely in love with this. Absolutely in love with it. But, yeah, you've got it there. And you've got the little Beckett sticker in the corner and the little Beckett certificate there. But, yeah. This, if there was one autograph I wanted, people that know me would know that it's definitely the uh, Back to the Future autograph. This will have to be framed. I'm now holding out for the Tom Wilson one and Leah Thompson autograph because I would like to get in terms of that. That's who I would deem as the main characters in that movie. Uh, I'd like to get a lot of them and get them all frames. So they are the next ones I will have on the pad and just looking for. The guys at Showmasters, London uh, Comics and Film Conventions on Facebook group are having a huge mega blowout sale on Boxing Day, I believe, and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So I believe Boxing Day night is when they will do their sale around 7 o'clock. There will be a lot of people on there expect it because they're saying, look, they just want to get through it and that'll be their next big day for selling through autographs. Uh, so if you are if you want some autographs or you're looking for something, definitely just keep an eye out. Uh, they usually update every couple of minutes and they're starting to sell retro consoles on there as well. So you have about four or five autographs, then they do a bundle of consoles. I don't think they're that bad priced. I think they're asking £75 for a GameCube with about six games, a pad, etc. It isn't too bad and they're in bundles of, there's a sports bundle, there's a Resident Evil bundle. I think there was a Disney bundle and then there was like a platformer bundle. So you can pick up all different bits and pieces. But it's not just the kind of Nintendo bundles. You can pick up like Amigas on there, Commodores. There's loads of different bits and pieces they have. So definitely, if you're into that stuff, definitely watch out for that. But guys, I guess as I'm coming to the end of this, I believe I've had absolutely one of my best weeks for pickups. The PlayStation 2. Couldn't believe it would get any better gaming-wise after I've picked up a Mega Drive, after I've picked up the Nintendo Wii games when we first come out of lock. Well, when we first come out of re the restrictions, picked up the uh, the bundle of Wii games and the PSP, and then and then I've added to it this week with the PlayStation 2 with a load of decent games, uh, which I would not find even if it was at a boot sale. And then again, the same with the Power Ranger collection. I'm glad I got my phone out and just took a couple of short clips on it because uh, it's unbelievable. You don't tend to find this kind of stuff especially in charity shops so really happy find the power ranger lot and then again let's see what i can do over the next couple of weeks i've definitely got time on my hands with the lockdown and christmas break to see how much this kind of stuff you know how much i could kind of get out of that and what i can invest that back into to have something different in the room uh i guess as we go into you know tier four in london now and no doubt a lockdown in the new, the new year hopefully not but you never know uh, I guess once that finishes, I do want to get out to some toy shops. I've been looking at the Leicester toy shop for a while now as one I need to get to. And I want to go up there with quite a bit of money to spend. Uh, because for me, I, I believe that would be about a two to three hour journey driving. And the same coming back. And if I'm going there, I need to go there for a solid purpose. I can't go up there just to buy one or two things. I need to go up there to kind of buy like a mini collection. If I'm going all that way, I need to make it worthwhile and it needs to work out for me. So I'm hoping to go up there. It must be March time, I believe, when when I when I think I have quite a bit of money to go up there and splash out at Leicester Toy Shop. Uh, I guess in the meantime, I want to get back to Nerd Base. Nerd Base have gone in Essex have gone through a huge uh, refit in their store and they've opened it up uh, quite a lot. And there's a lot of new bits and pieces in there. So I want to get up there and I just want the toy fairs to start back up. So Sandown, especially, that's the one I go to every single Sandown. I want to bring you guys on that journey so you can see that as well. Uh, so I guess next pieces for me is that, well, that's what I'd want to do. I have had a, this new toy shop open in Sick Up, which is like manga anime uh, related, which is Tokyo Toys. So I definitely want to get there with the GoPro as well in the new year. But yeah, I guess that's it for now, guys. I've had a brilliant week. Uh, hopefully I get, I've got a few more bits and pieces that I've ordered 
uh, from toy collectors online which have been sent out now so i'll have a little bit more to show you in the come or well, in the coming days maybe maybe a week i'll have a bit more to show you a bit more content but in the meantime i'm going to leave it there guys stay safe hopefully you enjoy you know christmas uh if you can't enjoy it with your loved ones just stay safe and just yeah you know if you want to reach out as well if, if anyone's thinking like oh, i'm on my own i want to reach out reach out in the thoughts fuse comments reach out in the comments below because there's a lot of good people that are commenting in the comments they collect the same kind of thing everyone likes to chat I, I, I feel like the comments below is not just comments we have a good chat in there i chat more in the comments than i do on instagram twitter facebook so definitely if, if you know if you're feeling like you want to chat definitely put it in the comments below you know i'll chat in the comments below and then i'm hoping to do a live video as well in the next over the christmas period as well try and get a few people together if not you're going to hear me ramble on for about an hour uh so yeah guys stay tuned there's a lot coming uh stay safe and god bless thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please subscribe there will be a lot more contents coming i keep saying i want to get out and do bits and pieces i feel like i'm just being held back at the moment but for good reasons once these shackles are released i'm out there and i'm going to be bringing a lot more content than what i'm bringing at the moment but in the meantime again stay safe enjoy your christmas enjoy what time you've got for what time you've got with family if it's in your on your own and you want to chat remember I've got the comments at below so shout me out down there always willing to have a chat uh yeah thanks again guys see you soon